I, you know, this is such a common problem as well. Do schools have to provide access and accommodations uh, for before and after care that is run by the district? Okay, and before and after care means child care before schools or, or after care, meaning after school, uh, which, which uh, many schools have and that's funded um, by the government, by the way, and it's provided inside government schools, public schools, okay? That's very important to understand. Uh, it's funded, I'm not gonna say it's funded by your school dollars, but it's funded uh, not by Bill Gates or, or, you know, Bezos. It's funded through other government grants or programs. So that's very important. Government money means adherence to government rules. And it doesn't necessarily mean that this government program controls this government rule, but we're gonna, we're gonna explain this. Okay, they claim it is separate from the district and therefore do not have to allow the student and are allowed to deny access to children who use pull-ups, for example. How is this possible with ADA? It's not. That's discriminatory. All right, so you can't use government money. <laughs> also, government money inside of a government building and then get away with discrimination. You can't do that. So um, uh, it's, a, it's a complete misapplication or misinterpretation that, well, we don't run the program, they run the program. I don't care if they run the program because we years ago, we had lawsuits um, about the Boy Scouts meeting inside of public school buildings. And you sit there and you go, well, you know, is it discriminatory if they are using a public school facility or a government school facility, then yeah, they would be, have to adhere to the same policies. You cannot discriminate. Number one, because the money is sourced from the government. And number two, it's a government building. So you can't do that kind of stuff. You cannot discriminate. There's gotta be equal access. Uh, there's gotta be accommodations made. And the, the school to sit there and say, well, it's some other party, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's happening within your school. Therefore, you are responsible. Is it a IEP issue? No, it wouldn't necessarily. I think it is. It just sort of depends on how you look at it and how you argue it. Is it more of a 504 civil rights ADA issue? Yes, but let me explain. If your child has an IEP, okay? Within your IEP, and I don't care what state you live in, guys, if your child has an IEP, they have ADA and civil rights protections, let's say 504 protections, embedded inside of their IEP to where we don't have to have the redundancy of having two or three separate plans. An IEP is nothing but an enhanced cadre of services meaning that your child uh, is entitled to specialized instruction, special education and related services, uh, instead of just accommodations uh, and protections through a 504 plan, which is connected with ADA, okay? So, you know, it, it's like, it's like the, the center of the Tootsie Pop, the, the Tootsie Pop's around the center of the Tootsie Pop, guys. So the, the outside would be that 504 and ADA civil rights protections, the inside would be the IEP with the additional services. Not every child with a disability requires an IEP, but yours does, okay? So those protective, that protective outer layer doesn't go away when your child gets an IEP. They're still there. They just add more to it, that delicious center chewy part, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's discuss this then. Within your child's IEP, just like with the 504, there's going to be a question in there whether your child can um, navigate or participate in non-academic and extracurricular activities. Well, non-academic would be any side, any, any, anything outside of the instructional setting. That'd be hallways, a playground, uh, lunchroom. You know, can the child access that and have equal access? Do they need support in these environments? Okay, that's the non-academic setting during the school day. 
Well, holy cow, there's the word extracurricular. Extracurricular notes outside of the, the normal school hours, correct? And, and we also want to be able to ensure that children have access to extracurricular activities. Now, we look at extracurricular activities as football and basketball and you know chess club and all these other things. We also provide behavior plans to kids that ride buses to school before the school day uh, even starts. We also provide bus service to these children. We also offer breakfast to these students before the school day starts. All of these things funded as mechanisms of support and protection to where equal access uh, is, is incorporated, okay? So just because we bring, let's say, Yahoo Incorporated in to sit there and provide aftercare services or before school care services doesn't really matter. It's still provided inside of the school and so therefore it becomes a school problem. Could be considered an extracurricular activity, meaning extra outside of your child's school day. Now, just because it's not football doesn't mean it's not after the school hours, therefore extracurricular. I think there's an argument to be made there. I would make that argument. They have to sit there and deal with that because I can tell you right now, I've had many cases to where my children, uh, uh, my clients, call them my kids, to where my kids, um, uh, let's say, want to be participating in a football team or, or you know, they want to be um, uh, sports managers. Well, I've had many schools have to provide an aid to pay an aid to be there to support the child in that endeavor. Why? Equal access, guys. Equal access. Wasn't necessarily attached to the IEP. Wasn't about the provision of FAPE. Some of this stuff isn't about the provision of FAPE. It's just about equal access. Okay? Now, it is a provision of FAPE as it's defined by 504, not necessarily a question of FAPE as it's defined in special education. But like I said, 504 protections, accommodations, those things are wrapped into your child's IEP as it is. So you're justified. They're wrong. You're right. Mm -hmm.